Hello everyone and welcome back to Berto's Kitchen. Today I want you to meet the 10 best chefs in Italy this year. But this isn't just a top 10 video like everybody else can do on the tube. This video sets the roots for a brand new series here on the channel. Today I will introduce you the 10 best Italian chefs and for each one of them I will make an entire episode trying to reproduce their signature dishes in such a way that they will be easily reproducible for you at home. Feeling thrilled yet? Let's start with the list. Number 10. Davide Oldaga. He started his journey beside the king, Gualtiero Marchesi, refining his skills with renowned chefs such as Albert Roux, Alain Ducasse and Pierre Hermé. Anchorman of the cooking pop culture, he refounded his restaurant Do in the province of Milan managing to gain the second Michelin star in 2020. He is considered one of the best chef entrepreneurs around the globe, being studied in the Harvard Business School Review through a case history due to his success in his restaurant. Number 9. Floriano Pellegrino and Isabella Potitti. A couple in business and in life, we see their names in the magazine Forbes, in the list of the most talented and promising under 30 in the world. Their restaurant Bros in Lecce reached its first Michelin star in 2018, expecting much more from the future. Floriano's journey is adorned from international experiences, with a stop in the three Michelin star kitchen of Martin Brasategui. Isabella's formation sees many high-caliber names, such as Claude Bosi, Pablo Torreblanca and Martin Berasategui. But she found success with Floriano at their restaurant. And just after that, we see her first time in many TV shows, such as Masterchef in 2017. Number 8. Massimiliano Alaio. Born in a family of restaurant runners in 2002, at the age of 28, he became the youngest chef in history to reach the three Michelin star milestone. Head chef in the restaurant Le Calandre, Il Calandrino and Gran Café Quadri, he is also enrolled in a group called Knights of the Italian Cuisine to promote and defend the profession. A pure chef who boards around genius and usually hits it in the bullseye. Number 7. Paolo Casagrande. Born in Conegliano, Veneto, since he was a child, he loved to stare at the women in his family while cooking. And that's the reason why his father dissipated the mist in front of his future, advising him to sign up in a hotel management school in his hometown. Here started his journey, but we find him now head chef at Martin Barsategui restaurant Lazart, located in Barcelona. And if you didn't notice, we're talking about a three Michelin star restaurant here. Number 6. Antonia Klugman. Antonia Klugman started her journey in Trieste with classical and literature studies, followed by three years of law university. But she soon realized that her real vocation was the kitchen. She is now the chef patron at the restaurant L'Arginia Venco, earning one Michelin star every year since 2015. And it is included in the top 100 European restaurants from opinionated about dining. She proposes a very intimate way of cooking, characterized from the presence of veggies, with the goal to minimize waste with her creativity and techniques. Number 5. Nico Romito. Self-taught cook and profoundly bound to his territory, Abruzzo. In just seven years, he managed to reach the three Michelin star milestone. In a very little amount of time, he established his language through cooking. Simple, incisive, but very intimate. And you can clearly read that from his famous reimagined dishes from the Italian tradition. Today, he is fully addressed to teach young cooks his skills and techniques through his school, Nicoromito Academy. Number 4. Norbert Niederkoffler. Head chef at the restaurant Saint Hubertus. Three Michelin stars. He considers the respect of the prime materials and the knowledge of the techniques involved the core of his culinary art and what magnifies at the extreme the taste of his creations. 
This philosophy brought him to found the Cook the Mountain movement, in which he reflects his culinary identity through the best sustainable cultivation techniques. No waste is his mantra. Number 3. Massimo Bottura. Chef patron at the 3 Michelin star restaurant Osteria Francescana, which has been awarded twice as the best restaurant in the world according to 50 best restaurants in 2016 and in 2018. Initially, his way of cooking was not recognized by the citizens of Modena, his hometown, due to his very extreme reimagination of the Italian traditional recipes. Everybody had to rethink that in 2002, where he reached his first Michelin star, collecting the third in 2011. Food for Soul is his project founded in Milan in 2015 during the Expo, aimed to refreshing and welcoming people in difficulty. Today, seven restaurants around the world have been founded following this purpose. Number 2. Mauro Iassi Chef patron to the restaurant that brings his name, Uliassi, a three Michelin starred restaurant facing the shores of Senigallia. His fish menus <laughs> exude the Adriatic tradition from every angle. Many people learn how to cook through books, kitchen schools, parents skilled with the stove. But he didn't. He found his way in his family's pub, between the skirts of their clients and later on in the 70s, between the hippies. This is just to tell you a simple message. You can learn to cook while living your life with passion. Number one, Enrico Crippa. Here stands the best Italian chef at this time. The stars are three in his restaurant Piazza Duomo, located in Alba. But his feet are strongly anchored on the ground, and his head is bowed on the path to check every one of his creations. He is the best, but he didn't lose his simplicity and discretion. Just like David Ildani, he owes his skills to the king Gualtiero Marchesi. But he didn't stop there. He elevated his skills in Japan and reinvented the Nouvelle Cuisine. Since 2013, Enrico Crippa has been bringing Piazza Duomo among the 50 best restaurants in the world, reaching the 15th position in 2017, year in which he became the president wow. of the Italian Bocuse d'Or Academy. And that's it for today, guys. These 10 chefs challenged themselves to become the best in their countries. And the best way I know to honor their work is to prepare some of their signature dishes for you. Don't miss out what's coming next on Berto's Kitchen. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're curious enough. As always, Italian style.